y'all today I'm participating in the one box challenge with Rachel from sweet and simple home um, I've wanted to do this and every time I I'm gonna do it I get really excited about it and then something happens and I don't get it filmed I even have the stuff but I don't get it filmed so this time I was determined it is Sunday and I am filming it the day of it but we're gonna do it I have been um, I had all these grandiose plans of this stuff I want to get done and health and Everything didn't allow that so but I did get some stuff done some of it today <laughs> and um, So I'm going to show you what I've got in my room right now. I went through my linen closet um, And I don't think I've purged linens and I do not know how long then I was given a whole bunch by my dad when Hannah got my bed Oh, a year ago that was mine growing up so it's pretty old as a poster bed and he gave me every pair of sheets that they had that went on that bed and it was like 20 so I've reduced down to two <laughs> we don't need any more than that for that one bed because it's the only one we have that size so I'm gonna show you what I ha have in here and then I have a couple of things out in the garage I keep this laundry hamper in my bedroom or in my closet, depending. I'm trying to find the perfect place for it. I may switch it to my garage. But for right now, it's floating between my bedroom and closet. And everybody knows that if they have clothes to get rid of, this is where they go. And so that has been really helpful. I had unloaded a lot of that stuff out of that hamper that throughout the month we've just been throwing in there. Whenever somebody does laundry or, or goes through their closet and sees something they don't that doesn't fit right, or even if they try it on and it doesn't fit right and they know they're not going to use it, it goes in the hamper. And that's, I think, been really helpful is to have a place that you don't have to stop and think. Because so often I know I'll be going through clothes and I'll think, oh, I'm not going to wear that again. It's it's too big or it's got a tear or it's this or it's that. And I'll put it, think, but I'll get rid of it when I go through my closet. And I set it aside and don't do anything with it right then. But having a place to put it has helped me so much in not having to think about it. I just I automatically know, okay, I can go put that in that hamper and I'm more likely to get rid of it as opposed to hanging on to it from for some crazy reason that I do. One of the first things I'm gonna get rid of is this long wool coat. It's really nice, but down in the deep south, we don't really use wool a whole lot. And I've had it in my closet in case Sarah could fit into it, one of the girls. But they're not, I mean, just I'm being realistic. They're not going to wear it, so I'm going to get rid of it. Because it's warm more than it is cold here, even in the winter. So, this shirt I hauled in a Goodwill haul, my mega huge Goodwill haul. And we had tried, we've tried like washing it several times, trying to get the perfume smell out of it. And that didn't work. And then the others are just some clothes that I have outgrown that, not I have outgrown, that I've, they're too big for me now. There, that's the right way um, to say it. But anyway, they're too big for me, and so I'm getting rid of those. Now, this is the pile of sheets. Can you see them all? <laughs> yes. There's a couple of tablecloths, like right there's a tablecloth, and that's a shower curtain. But the rest are pretty much sheets and pillowcases that we don't need. So they are all going to go and I am so happy my linen closet is almost empty and it's so nice. So let me go out to the garage and show you what we have out there. Okay, this box, I'm not going to look in it because this was Hannah's. These are books and things that she no longer wants. And I'm not going to look in it because books are a dangerous thing for me to look at because I'll think, oh, we, we only have three copies of The Hobbit. So we need another one because everybody needs their own and I will keep it <laughs> and pull it out. So I'm not even going to look in that box. I'm just going to trust she's 24. She knows what she wants to get rid of and we're going to go with it and um, not ever look back. So well, I've been working on the garage and this area here where I have my drying rack and this other drying rack, which is a really cool drying rack just in case you ever need one. It's got a place to hang use hangers on it. But anyway. I, um, out here used to be a huge pile of boxes and I got rid of all those. The pile of boxes I got rid of was, had been there for months. It was like from everything we ordered from Amazon, from Christmas to now, it would just like, we would stack the box in case we needed it, in case we need those Amazon boxes. And I ordered from Amazon a lot. So we had a lot of boxes and Jean, I have a picture I'll insert, but Jean um, 
ended up putting boxes inside of boxes so it doesn't look like so many but it was huge and so I did do that decluttering that was a huge declutter out here in the garage um, this month so but a lot of that was trash so didn't really give away stuff just threw away stuff which is good too well that's my one box challenge if you want to see more videos like this click the link in the description box of the playlist and you can see everybody who participated I want to thank Rachel at Sweet and Simple Home for hosting this. It is a, such an encouragement and motivator to get on the move with everybody else and seeing what everybody else is decluttering. And it just is an encouragement to me, and I really appreciate her and all the other women who are participating. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and have a great day.